This is a, an example of another job I don't want to have. No, sir. He did something similar to this report on tree trimming about a year ago. This is more recent. I was able uh, to get some helicopter video of the successful rescue of a tree trimmer that got himself in a predicament or what they call a situation. So check it out. We have a tree trimmer somehow trapped in the top of a palm tree. His head's right here. The fireman was holding his head. There's the guy's head right there. Now he's holding his head up. I think he's probably 20, 25 feet up in height. On the looky loser down here and over here. It's right on a golf course also. There's a golf cart. Everyone has their picture taking device out. There's the guy's head right there and his shoulders. So the fire people had uh, some trimming tools, a trimming saw, even looks like they had a chainsaw up there. <clears throat> no telling how long the guy had been hanging in the tree before somebody decided, hey that don't look right. It could have been for hours. Looks like he was doing both of these palm trees, you can see all the shaggy palm fronds when the helicopter pulls back you're going to see it goes almost all the way down to the ground because I see what he was doing it was just a big job okay. yeah, those palms go all the way to the ground the one he was working on. He'd been working from the bottom up. Somehow got entangled in him. Let's see the fireman's talking to him. Probably telling him, yeah, I bet you won't try this again. That's something you don't see every day. Fire truck on the lane golf course it's funny they got a paved road right there in front of them that's what that golf course cart just turned on why did I have to come up through the grass maybe that's the only way they can make it now this truck is going to be absolutely useless in this location it's going to be close, but no cigar. Look how wet it is. Must be from the sprinkler systems, because it's no rain. Yeah, close, but no cigar. Right behind the property is this big old chain link fence. This one's covered with ivy, it looks like. He's got one, a little, little small crane thing on the back. See, the guy is actually trapped by uh, palm prawns that are. You tangle up with around his legs. So all this is really cut, but it's just tangled up around him. So all this is 
is on top of the poor guy, get him all tangled up. Yeah, I would like to find out how he got there. You would think if you're trimming from the bottom going up, the palms would just fall to the ground. I don't know how in the heck he got in that position. Unless he was trying to climb above him and slipped. Good thing he had his safety belt on. He's tethered to the tree. There's a big saw blade right there. Tree trimming. And then those cutters. See that big tether rope they got tied to him. So if he falls, he's going to be dangling like a fish off the end of that gantry. See all this stuff right in here? That's all going to be tumbling down in a less than a minute. He's starting to, fireman's starting to pull everything out of the way, but he goes too far and all this stuff comes, comes off. You watch. There it goes. His leg. He's got his climbing boots on, his belt, and I think he's got a, yeah, see, he's got a, a belt around the tree attached to his belt. So he was twisted to the right. His arm, bumper, body strength probably gave out because we don't know how long he was hanging there. It was like anything else in this world. You can be in distress until people call help or take videos and post it. You never know when they're going to call for help for you. Always have a buddy or a backup plan if you're doing this type of stuff. What they're going to do now is unhook him from the tree and drag him onto the gantry. Okay, we'll pick it up on the next clip. A tree trimmer stuck in a palm tree. In Rancho Bernardo, he ended up horizontal. And the fire department's there for rescuing him after about a half hour of him dangling up there in the palm trees. Man, looks like he's moving on his own. He ain't going too fast. Mm -hmm. 
is probably pretty sore. Both of them. A firefighter worked for about a half hour cutting the palm fronds that were encasing this guy like a beehive on the top of the tree. <clears throat> he had a belt strapped around him, plus he had his his tree climbing boots on. I think he still has those boots on. He's just trying to figure out how to get him down there. I guess he's got to get past a joint there on that crane. So he can bring the crane back. He's probably saying, I don't want to come. He says, come on, dude, you got to come. Quit being such a baby. Hey, you made the news. And you're alive. Yeah, they're going to probably drag his ass down. <laughs> you don't want to come down. He just wants to says, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I wasn't doing nothing. I was just trimming me some tree. And the tree decided to attack me. There was a part of the tree. Man. This was covered on KUSI TV 9 here in San Diego. Over in the Rancho Bernardo area. Yeah, that guy's going to have some splaining to do. You know he's up there trimming. What in the heck? Something broke or snapped and he ended up sideways. And then you couldn't see him. Except for his little head sticking out. He was like laying in a bed but he was in the tree. And he had a whole bunch of palm proms. Uh, laying on top of him. Now the helicopter's pulling out. See, it's right on the edge of a golf course. Got the paramedics and the rescue team from the fire department. They got all their gear out. The way he was laying, I bet he's got a broken leg. And they're going to make him walk. Because we don't care if you got a broken leg, walk! He's getting closer to the ground. I bet he's going to be happy that he's on terra firma once more. Yeah, tree trimmer is definitely another job I would not want. Even when I was young, I would never want to be a tree trimmer. Yeah, unless I can keep one foot on the ground, then I'm, that's okay. I can do that. Yeah, that guy's getting all kinds of help. I bet the guy to the right with his hand on his head is, he's either one of the bosses or he's the homeowner. Just a guess. I bet he's going to be bruised, sore, and yeah, they got to do a whole series of x-rays on this dude. And they're ripping all his clothes off. Now they're covering him up so shock doesn't set in. And it's hot. It's in the mid-90s. Very humid. 
and it's around 10 a.m. in the morning and he'd been up there about a half hour but we don't know how long he was up there before anybody knew he was in distress or had a problem and there's the uh, scab tv folks there with their cameras the ringers independent dudes that just go out and chase ambulances and then try to get a bunch of film footage and sell it to the local news media Well, he's uh, on his way to the hospital, which is pretty close to this location. Definitely don't want to be a tree trimmer. And this happens uh, This happens quite frequently, except it doesn't have this kind of a happy ending. Most of them die. Here's a golf course there to the right. To the right. So the property that he was trimming those two palm trees you can see in the back uh, we're right along this golf course yeah this is a, a nice area of uh, North San Diego I think there's like 12 golf courses up in this area No, it may not be that many, but there's there's at least five or six golf courses up there. I think the helicopters flying north over the community. Yeah, welcome to Southern California, SoCal. Yeah, a little hazy today. Heading towards the east, towards the mountains, or low hills, depending on what your reference point is. Now there's a, a hospital within two miles of this location. Maybe that's where the helicopter is trying to take a picture of. Yeah, that's, uh, I think that's where they're going. The helicopter's heading towards the hospital. Oh, remember, kiddies, tree trimming jobs is a skilled profession. Here, I think, was the first uh, installment of jobs I did, do not want. This was uh, June of 20, 2016, and it's kind of it's kind of ironic that it's now that here's a tree job trimmer. They couldn't pay me enough to do. It's about seventy five foot. Most of those telephone poles are. 25 foot to 30 foot he's up there ways and he's working like crazy in trees by hand not even a power saw and the, he's cranking away and the tree trimmer we just saw over in Rancho Bernardo was doing something similar except he was strapped to the tree and there was no bucket for him. So I think I still maintain my statement, this is no job for me. No, sir. -y.